What is up? Oh, hello. God, I could listen to Bone Tussle all day. Do this an ASMR Bone Tussle stream. Uh, this is a fantastic remix by Neku. If you want to check that out, good shit all round. And yeah, I, I love this, but I'm gonna have to fade it out as I'm listen to this professional fade out as I turn my Spotify right down and then close it. It does need more xylophone. You're quite right. As you see, uh, I've dropped my stream starting soon spooky graphic because uh, it's whilst Darkest Dungeons is a horror game, uh, it's not spooky time with friends in the same way. And so I'm just going to leave that for now. But I am going to. This might get a bit fucky because I know this is going to start full screen. But. I'm going to do a brand new run with my old rule set, which I'll explain to you once we're into the game proper. Uh, and I will share with us. It's not my heart. No, I didn't pay a dime for it. <laughs> I was thinking, don't tell her. I was thinking about commissioning uh, the same artist who I got the name from before. And I've forgotten again. <laughs> I was thinking about a commissioning from the same artist, a picture which is more or less the same, but I'm front and center, and I'm pushing on to, like, away. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of money to spend on a practical joke, but I, it's not the first time I will have spent a lot of money on a practical joke. Philip Buster Frog, you are quite right. Um, and because you've mentioned her, uh, them, I should say, I don't know their gender. Uh, I will uh, quickly flash up the artwork we are talking about. He says optimistically. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. That's uh, Filibuster Frog's fantastic artwork. To be fair, I deserve a little bit of try. <laughs> I see you. I do. I see you. Um. I did a little bit of editing in, I extended the flashlight beams on both sides. And also, if you look at the original, my arm is cropped. And so that continuation of the curve of the arm, I did. So it's basically my art when you think about it. Anyway, anyway, uh, that said, let me switch to back to this screen. I'll go into my rules on Darkest Dungeons in a second. It's pretty much like the base game, but with one or two twists. But for now, let's just appreciate the majesty of trying to find the game to capture. Oh, you can hear it. Oh, it's Ruin there in the background. Come to our family. Oh, 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 it's gone. It's you gone nasty, all right. remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. Oh, I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor. Hold on. I know what's happening. I know why it's happening. It's so loud. Options, please. <laughs> That's, yeah. I did steal the art. I did fail to credit the artist. This is so loud for me. Okay, graphics, no to full screen. Reset the restart the game to make these effects. Oh. Okay. Botch it. Try again. I want it windowed. It's so small. But this should be better. Yep, 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 yep. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. Stoic perch. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. 
And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets. It's just art. Exhausting it's what so remained good. of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. What's this square? Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. <laughs> in the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing <laughs> through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our there venerable house? There are some really house. good uh, Darkest Dungeons look-alike artists on Fiverr. It is a festering abomination. Oh, the square's gone. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright. Oh, it's back! Oh! And deliver our family ah, the tree. from the ravenous clutching shadows. I think it might be. Oh, let me, hold on. I just want to, I'm going to press the button and I love the button. Yes. This fucking square. It might be because I'm window mode. Let me fence around a bit. We start the game right. Fuck that. Let's go. We're just going in. Oh, here's. Alright, game audio down. Fine. How is that? I'll keep talking so you get a bearing. Cool. And I will also enlarge the chat box on the screen. No, I won't. I changed my mind on that. All right. The first moment of horror is upon us. We're going in for a brand new game. So, Darkest Dungeons as I play it. It's exactly the same as Darkest Dungeons as everyone else plays it. The key difference is, everybody I hire gets a nickname based on a food. And that's it, that's the only difference. There's a ton of shit, like I've got the color of madness, I think. Or maybe I don't. Maybe that's why that's there. I do have some DLC. I'm not really used to any of the DLC paths. So there might be some stuff that comes up that's like, oh, what's all this? Maybe I'll go down here, end up in a hedge mage, get eaten by vampires. I literally don't know how that works. So we're going to go for a brand new campaign. Oh, here we go. Here's all my DLCs. Okay. Is this your first escape? <laughs> Let's go for it. Darkest. Hell yeah. Here we go. Oh no, I've been in a you wagon accident. You arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. A ghost! I saw my audio peak there, Don't I'm sorry. yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. 
without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Gaping abyss? <laughs> I spoiled it, by the way. I got too excited. I told you there was going to be a wagon accident while the wagon was still on the road. But here we are. The stagecoach is destroyed and the caretaker is gone. We have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Uh, these are the two guys you get at the start of every playthrough. That's odd. <laughs> Why did it do that? Uh, my resolution's gone weird. Huh. Why, why is it, why did it do that? Why is it? Let me try this. Um, it's so odd. That's crazy. Why is it done that? Maybe. Let me delete the game capture entirely. Thank you for the follow, Marit! Wop, 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 wop. Alright, no game capture at the moment. Let me try. I might just try a window capture, actually. If it's gonna play silly buggers. Window capture, add source, add new source. That's looking healthier. What? There we go. We are currently in a room. The crucible of techno technological horror. A man tries to drive the machine, but who is the real master? It's. I've, I've got two uh, face masks made by uh, Frey McFuzzles, which are wonderful, and they are both quotes from The Caretaker, which I thought was very peak lockdown aesthetic. One of which reads, the task ahead is terrible, the end of that quote being, and weakness cannot be tolerated, and the other one being, uh, death is patient, the end of that quote being, it can wait. Um, which I, th I thought was superb quotes for the pandemic. Uh, so I may lose my shit if the caretaker says either of those two things in this game. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We're back. Uh, Reynold and Dismas are the two guys you start with every playthrough. You actually get an achievement if you can start, if you can keep them until the end. Uh, do not worry, they will not be called Reynold or Dismas for long. All right. Let's go. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. I used WASD to do my new. Oh. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Oh my God. I love it. I love everything about it. <laughs> this censorship that I'm seeing Skelly Heron do on the chat. Let's kill this enemy. Uh, so, uh, the, the mechanics that are available to you in Darkest Dungeons is based on your position. So you can see here, Grape Shot, shot Blast. The yellow on the in the middle there but just above where it says Grape Shot, that's where you need to be in terms of party position in order to use that ability. 
and the red is who in the enemy it will impact. Uh, so we are going to go and open the vein of this brigand. Make him bleed. And then hopefully we'll finish him off with a zealous accusation. Confidence yep. surges as the enemy crumbles. Turn my voice up. Absolutely. Turn my, my game down. Certainly. Actually, I'm going to... The game audio is going to go up a second. Thank you for the loot. Because uh, I actually need to lower the game audio in the actual game itself. It is destroying me. Moment oh. of respite. Bottom. How <laughs> dare you touch the eraser slider? Let's Death yeah. with the human mind. Terrible. Yeah, I'll keep that at a hundred so you can scare the shit out of this. No, I'm gonna go down this and in a maze. Oh, the narration is so good. All right, how's this for game audio and for for us? What up? Ooh, a curio. Let's have a look in this tent. Someone has left valuable Glittering inside. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Oh, fantastic. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. But I checked. Didn't I? Oh, it's getting dark. Like the game said it would. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. I actually don't like the subtitles. I'm going to turn those off. Okay, a couple of thugs here. So we're going to go for some AoE damage first and foremost. Get some debuffs going. Um... And this bug's gonna do some pretty nasty stuff, so I'm gonna give my give Reynold, temporary name only, a buff. As expected. Hell yeah. I feel very justified. Let's get some bleed on the tank. Stunning blow there. Try and make sure we're getting as little damage as possible in these rounds. Not that there's much to can see. The music sounds still loud. That's fine. Let's have a look. Terrible. Well struck. It's really overpowering. How's that? He's he's narrated in Mountains of Madness audiobook. Holy shit! I'm there for that. Death, death, dead as fuck. Inches. That's why I'm not the narrator for this game. He was like death by inches. I was like dead as fuck. This advantage. Give them no quarter. All right. More valuables. Portraits, uh, bust, rubies, jades. Uh, we'll get into the the economy of the game. Oh, we can play the task. Oh, we can go to town. Um, this is a very interesting mechanic. I've got no choice here but to complete the quest. Uh, the quest. Oh no. Oh yeah, because I got to open the chest. That's fine. So, yes, at the end of every quest, you are given a choice to either carry on adventuring or to just go home. And that is going to be a very interesting mechanic as we play the game. Bandit's trapped chest. 
Let's get um, Dismas temporary name to have a look at that. Oh, it's trapped! But he resisted it. What was it? Oh. Okay. Nothing? Alright, time to go home. Finally, we'll get to the village. Gold. Heirlooms. Some XP. And Reynold has become obsessed with cleanliness. Superb. Hyper clean Reynold. And so now we get to the hamlet. Welcome home, such as it is. <laughs> this squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. <laughs> they are yours now, and you are bound to them. I'm laughing at this quest log because it's so big. <laughs> and we are not going to get... We're going to do the first four aids of ruins. We are not going to even deal with the apprentice necromancer by the time I'm done streaming. It is just... <laughs> it is superb. Okay. Nito Bobito. Dismas is a level 1 apprentice highwayman. Reynard is now a level 1 apprentice crusader. They've been escorted to the hamlet. Hell yeah. Get help where you may. Thank you. Alright. So. The hamlet is your... We're not in radiant mode. Um, I'm doing darkest. I thought it was a nice middle ground. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, <laughs> fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. So, your maximum party in Darkest Dungeons is four. And to hire more heroes, you go to the stagecoach and see who's arrived. As is usual, the first two you get is a play doctor and a Vestal. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Uh, Radiant, I believe, is easiest because it's nice and bright. Uh, darkest is your medium mode. And... Oh, reduces the grind. Oh. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. If it gets a little too grindy, then maybe I'll restart on a, a Radiant. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, I think as well as being grind reducing, it's difficulty increasing and decreasing too. The, the deadliest difficulties, I, I just had it on screen before, but I've already forgotten what it's called. I've gone nowhere near it in my time. Um... So yes, here are my four new heroes. Uh, these two are level one because they've been out and they've gained some XP. These two are brand new and so they're level zero. The stagecoach, much like every other building in the hamlet, can be upgraded with heirlooms that you acquire. So you see here there's different types of heirlooms. Busts, portraits, deeds and crests. Uh, each building has different needs for heirlooms to upgrade it so you can upgrade the stagecoach stagecoach with deeds and crests uh, that'll do things like give you higher level um, recruits first and foremost um, increases the number of heroes that you could get um, and oh, what's the difference oh the, the hero roster is this one here so that's currently out of nine uh, I can boost that to 12 as and when it's needed and increases the uh, number of recruits. I'm going to hit that up first and foremost uh, because once we're out of our first foray, it's going to be really opportunistic to make sure that we've got a well-rounded A team and B team and it'll become very obvious as we play why we need a B team. Um, Buildings such as the Abbey, the Sanitarium. Yes, that's fine. I'm talking. Don't don't interrupt me. 
the tavern, the sanitarium, and the abbey are used to help your heroes recover um, from afflictions that you might get while you're foraying. So if you remember Reynold, um, how do I even look at just my heroes? Can I? Uh, Reynold has that cleanliness uh, hyperfixation. And that's one of the things that we can potentially try and remove as and when we need to. Uh, don't need ancestor memory right now. The graveyard! Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. All of our dead heroes are going to end up in the graveyard so we can revisit them and pay our respects. Uh, Nomad Wagon Trinkets is for buying... and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Trinkets and charms. Uh, which will give you uh, increases. They're, they're, they are always like this. It's always a gain in some stats for a decrease in others. So it's very, very interesting to find the right balance in that regard. Uh, Ancestry in Memories time, is just watching. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Um, Cutscenes. But yeah, that's the utility of the town. It basically allows you... Um, guilds and uh, blacksmith are, again, both kind of upgrading elements. That's the town. And so the goal is we're going up there eventually. We're going to the darkest dungeon. First and foremost, it is time to name our heroes. These two... Oh, it's right-clicking. There we go. These two I, I cannot give to the audience. How do you spell mayonnaise? I used to write for a living. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and guacamole. Together at last. These are my two st standard um, names for my Vestal and my Plague Doctor. Please do give me a foodstuff to name Reynold and Dismas. It's very much first come first serve, or if I think something is particularly hilarious in the chat. And hot <laughs> dog and bun is solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with hot dog for Reynold for sure. Oh, they <laughs> clicked the bark. Fuck. Oh no, I didn't do it right. Hot dog. Let's see if I can get a color that is more reminiscent of a hot dog. That feels very hot doggy. Like hot, like ketchup and mayo. Yeah. Keep hot dog. Hot, hot dog. There we go. We're sticking with bun for Dismas. Bun. Maybe that one? No, I'm gonna go for the darker brown. No, because that could be like... Yeah, that's kind of like an onions and lettuce type affair. There we go. Hot dog and bun. He's not bun yet. Bun. Anything is better than sitting around in this dump. He will eat those words, I promise you. That's my mayonnaise uh, Vestal. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. All right. Time to embark on some quests. Here are the areas of which I am to embark on. The courtyard. Uh, I believe that's 
DLC. We're not going to touch that just yet. Uh, we're going to stick to the Warrens and the Wailed for now. Um, then we're going to move into the Ruins and the Cove. And then we're going to hit up the Darkest Dungeon itself. In like six to eight months time. <laughs> so if you remember before when I was sh showing you that position is important. Uh, if I show you this again. Uh, you can see on here where their abilities are best used. Uh, typically, Vestiles go towards the middle, the Plague Doctor goes towards the back. It's a very good introductory party which will teach you all the mechanisms that you need to know. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we're going to go and scout the ruins. Test yourself in the mad realm of, realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how creatures have taken over, but don't go too far. This is going to be a short little jaunt into the ruins, uh, exploring 90% of the rooms uh, for an item, four crests, and 3,000 gold. Our boys and girls are restless. For them, let's provision up. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So, when you're going on any mission, it's an opportunity to buy equipment. The <laughs> first thing I am going to buy is torches. I tend to go for a couple of shovels and a couple of keys too particularly on these fairly early ones because they are not really likely to go into run into anything that's going to need um, too much attention. Go through the items quickly. Food. You need food on longer journeys. They, they restore, as you see, one unit per meal. That's one hit point. Each food restores one hit point, but hunger is also a factor. So if you're in a longer dungeon and you have a campfire scene, and you don't have food, that has a negative effect on the party. Shovels will clear things like blockages. Uh, sometimes there are things that are just in the way, and it means that you may need to take a longer route around, unless you have a shovel, in which case you can just clear off the blockage. Anti-venom. You use to counter blights, toxins, and poisons. They will come up in the game, particularly as we're fighting the undead or the beast creatures of the whale. Bandages. Stop bleeding. They do not heal you. They stop you from bleeding to death. Uh, so I am going to grab a couple of those too. Medicinal herbs. Uh, they combat debuffs that your heroes might be undergoing. Keys uh, will open any locks. Holy water. The items do not expire, but I think you cash them in at the end of any mission. I might be wrong in that. Uh, it's been a long time, but you it's a, it is a money sink for that very reason. Um, holy water purges off evil. Um, laudanum soothes the mind and torches. In, they can brighten up your path. One of the mechanics of the game is that stress, and we'll go through stress, we'll see. There was a little bit of it in the intro, but there's going to be many more opportunities to talk about stress. Um, yes, you do need to keep some inventory space to pick things up. It is that kind of game. Um, you can sometimes find yourself in a position where you're literally throwing away torches because you're, you need to make room for the loot that you're going to get. And you think, oh, it's not going to be that much longer. We can stave off the dark a little. Yeah, this, this is all the inventory you get. So if you go out fully prepared and you have everything, then you're not going to be able to bring as much back. This whole game is basically built on the conflict between wealth and survival. And I am not very good at that conflict. It is a really good art style, isn't it? The more you, you see of it, it's just, it's wonderful. I like the darkened eyes and the cell shaded type thing. Uh, I don't want to say it, but block shading. It's really, really nice. Yay. So yeah, that's all I'm going to take. It's just a short one. Maybe we won't die. 
eight food for this quest. No, okay, I'll take eight food. Oh, let's take one back. Your first expedition into the ruins of your ancestry. Be cautious. Be careful. And away we go. First of all, let's have a look at this map. <laughs> if I can figure out a way to do bets, I will. Um, so, we need to scout out 90% of these rooms. We have, at this point... Oh, I didn't need to go all the way there. Oh, we're moving, that's fine. Um, at this point, we've got no idea what is ahead of us. This is all we have. This is the light meter at the top. This will decrease over time, time. And at the moment, you can see we've got more chance to dodge. We've got more capacity to scout. And we've got more capacity to surprise monsters because we have radiant light. As you step away, uh, it will tick down until you run out of light. Things get harder in the dark, but the rewards are more plentiful in the dark. So that's often one of the things that you've got to weigh up. Hell yeah! Free torch. That's what I like to see. Nice simple corridor. And in we go. Bloody hell, it's skeletons. Do him a shoot, get some debuts. Um so <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Plague Doctor. So, the Hyoman, the uh, Warrior Paladin man, they're pretty self-explanatory. Self they do shooting, stabbing, and holy light. Uh, our Plague Doctor uses various alchemical co and concoctions to either debuff the enemy or embolden or even heal the heroes. We're going to go for some embolden vapors right now on Hot Dog. Uh, and our Vestal does a lot of healing uh, illumination. We're gonna. Uh, healing, uh, that kind of thing. It's, this is what I love about this game. <laughs> I, I, I love that the, the damage can sometimes be one, and yet that's significant. Back to the pit. Off you go. That's how you quickly dispatch a couple of skelly bros. I'm going to select burn the highwayman, and we're going to have a look in this strong box. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Ooh. Now it must be carried home. Oh, it doesn't have a debuff, that one. I told a complete lie earlier. Uh, we've got a, to a trinket here for a, uh, in a, a hero we don't have, um, the grave robber. They're all gothic as fuck. Off we go to next room. Aha, blockage. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. You notice that earlier the game gave us a shovel as a loot because this is our first foray. It's still very much a nice introductory. Um, Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable I didn't purpose. Use my shovel. <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. I used my hands. So let's increase the light because I've just stressed everyone out for no reason. This bar beneath the character's health is stress. You can see it's. Uh, I think it's ten boxes. Yep. Um, one, two, four, and four. Um, it is a ranking out of um, 200, but it's uh, stress is interesting. Generally speaking, you don't want people to get too stressed. Why did you get stressed then? Let's have a look at what you've got. You're God-fearing, so you will only pray in town for stress relief. That's good to know. Prone to stealing items, you motherfucker. If they steal an item, that doesn't go in your inventory. That's just theirs. They have it. 
Um, obsessed with cleanliness we got during the walk into town. I don't think I'm going to like you very much, Hot Dog, but you are a warrior of the light, so he does more damage if we keep the light nice and bright. Let's have a look. Um... <laughs> We picked up this shovel because this is an intro dungeon. Now get on your hands and knees and move it by hand. Um, Dismas, or Burn, is a known cheat, and so he is not allowed to use the gambling um, hall when he's in town to release, relieve stress. He's very hard to stun, and he's got two speed, plus two speed from his quick reflexes. Let's see what a waste of space these two are going to turn out to be. Mayonnaise. Love scouting in the wild. Can't stop mayonnaise scouting in the wild. <laughs> One of those is flashing, and I don't know why. I don't like that. Uh, in town, she will only meditate for stress relief. Good to know. Kind of annoying. Um, if her HP goes beneath 20, uh, 50%, she will gain 20 stress. That kind of sucks. I don't. Know. I think that's flashing because it's a new one. I don't know why that is. She's got loads of health. And then finally, guacamole to play dog. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Natural eye. Uh, really, really good at range. Quite a good, useful thing for the plague doctor to have. I don't think that useful. Oh, she's got plague grenade. She's all right. Deviant tastes is not allowed to visit the brothel for reasons best left to discretion. So she can't relieve stress at the brothel. <laughs> And she's got the yips, so she's got minus five accuracy. What a terrible <laughs> egg doctor. Oh no, the undead! Oh, okay, so immediately we've just given ourselves... Okay, a couple of interesting things just happened. One, that monster used an, uh, an ability that didn't do any damage, just deal stress just right to our vestal and you saw their um, hot dog being like oh we're gonna dwell in the dark we can use a torch but it will be I think that'll use yeah let's get it nice and bright we might as well you know, let's get a play grenade on that motherfucker get some damage over time with a blight um yeah you're gonna get problem well struck oh a critical hit there. Great thing about critical hits is that it relieves stress. They get emboldened by the confidence. You are dying. Let's give you... No, let's do some direct healing on you. Four hit points of health. Yes. Uh, you can't go wrong with... Uh, you can. You actively can go wrong with Jealous Accusation. Bigger. Zealous Accusation, that's how you do it. Uh, users remain number under the battle actions then. Um, I'm not sure I saw that. If I see that again, I'll let you know. It might well be that I don't actually know what that does. Do shout out if you see it again. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. I cannot see it. Continue That's the onslaught. Destroy them all. You see there that the critical hit not didn't just relieve hot dog stress there, but it also helped guacamole out. That was very good. Hi, Bowman. Lovely to see you. Um, so yeah, some loot. Take that fat loot. That was alright. You actually do get some battles, and I've done this before, where you can actually use them for stress relief. Because once you're out of the battle, you can't use those abilities. And there have been times where I've sat stunning a monster um, and just used stress relieving abilities just to get people to calm down. Oh, excellent. Well, thank you for swinging by, Bowman. 
um, I hope you're meeting... Oh, sorry, you're making a new character. Uh, I hope you enjoy that very much. What is the game? Some rooms have nothing. I'm going to go quite circuitously around. I'm going to leave that because if we clear out those corridors then is that, the, is that the best way to do it? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to stick with the original plan. Okay, Dismas. Bouncy Hunter, a Dithus Mandalorian inspired game. That sounds incredible. Hit me up with a link on, on that. I, that's It's completely passed me by, but it sounds like the kind of thing that I'd really enjoy. New skeleton key and some gold. That does sound really good. New Republic Spy 10 years before the Mandalorian. I do have a soft spot for games set slightly before major events of like a, a franchise. I've always enjoyed that. Okay, so out of these three motherfuckers right here, the Brawler's going to do as hideous amount of damage, the Acolyte's just going to stick debuffs all around, and this motherfucker right here is 10 hit points worth of trouble. So I think we're gonna impressive. Hell yeah! Holy shit! <laughs> this is going astonishingly well. Slowly, gently. <laughs> this is how a life is taken. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. This might be a good opportunity to get some healing now. One hit point. Live it. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. You gave all those hit points away. Oh, uses remaining. There you go. Yeah, this is just going to be a limited thing. So I can use this once, I think, per fight. Yeah, um, that will reset by the next phone. Oh no! Really, re a couple of really interesting things just happened. One, yes, use is remaining. It's use is per fight. Um, you notice that there was a side effect as well as a positive. So in that instance, that spell gives you a bonus to protection, um, but also marked me, which means that I'm essentially a little harder to hit, but when you hit, the um, hot dog's gonna take a, a lot more damage. Then, this acolyte motherfucker right here used an ability on the uh, Plague Doctor that moved her out of position. So, and I will keep her in that position for now, but you'll see, it's completely changed the ability she can use. She can only use Battlefield Medicine when she's in the back two rows, so right now she can't do that, nor can she use Plague Grenade. But she can use Incision. So why don't we get, deal out a little bit of punishment for moving her out of position? Uh, why don't you heal yourself of the damage you've just taken? It was a graveyard slash! Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, corpses are on. Yeah, I love corpses. Um, so this is an optional rule in the game, but uh, I like it. Corpses remain. So once a enemy dies, they drop a corpse that has a meager amount of hit points. But it means that it doesn't necessarily immediately change the priority order. So if there was someone at the back here, like an Acolyte that still had abilities depending on their priority, um, we wouldn't be able to, they'd still be able to use them. Similarly, we wouldn't be able to reach them past the corpse. I like that. 
I know it's up for everyone, that's why it's an optional rule. Uh, this is pretty done. There we Their go. formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Yeah, so that is indeed where the Remind yourself that the overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It was said yesterday that my chat are, are monster fuckers, and it turns out so are my dungeon delvers. Have a look in the heirloom chest. Packs um, laden with loot are often low on supplies. I'm I don't want Hot Dog to loot anything because Hot Dog is a kleptomaniac. There will come times where Hot Dog will go to a chest and before I can do anything, he'll just grab the stuff inside it and I will not be able to do anything about it. Ooh, scouting. Scouting's great. It, you can get it with high light. It's a random chance that you can basically have a bit of a preview of what's coming up in the next corridor. So every corridor amounts to four squares, and these four squares can be populated with things like nothing, combat, treasure, trap, obstacle, that kind of thing. So we know that square three, there's going to be a trap coming up. The tricky thing about this is, you need to remember there's a trap coming up. Um, and I'll see if we can... Why did you take stress? Who took stress then? No, I don't know why someone took stress. There. You see that? You see how easy that was to miss? Thank you, Bowman. I will check that out. Even harder to miss. Even easier to miss, rather, now that the illumination is depleting. But yeah. If we carried on walking, we would just hit that trap. But I think when we get close enough, the prompt will help. Um, but we can engage with it at this point and get someone to try and disarm it. Success. A bit of stress relieved from that disarming of the trap. A bit of stress gained. Why do you keep gaining stress? The dark? It might just be a stress over time thing. Thank you very much for that link. I will be checking that out. Nice empty room. So remember, our job is to scout out 90% of the rooms. Yeah, it makes sense that it would be... It, it will just be a, a, a general depletion. So, my thinking is... If I go here and here, that's going to do the 90% gives us two corridors to go through and then we can make a judgment call come the end of it as to whether or not we're going to move into that room so let's go you motherfucker you motherfucker you motherfucker right there a handsome reward for a task well performed look at all that I don't get that I don't get that that's just hot dogs now hot dog gets to have all that you motherfucker I know it's time to move. Let's get the light up. Ah, yep. Even though it's a short one, it looks like we're hitting a, a wee hunger break. Um, it was quite good to recommend me to take some food. Uh, that's going to be four food. Everyone splits it between them. They gain a little bit of health. That's nice. And so they don't take any stress or debuffs from being hungry. Nothing at all in here. And you can see my inventory is getting really full now from all the, the fat loots. It's getting gloomy. I'm going to let this light go where... Yeah, we are up. You're right, exactly there. Plus stress. Now we're in dim light. You gain stress every now and again. Monsters can crit a little bit more easily. Uh, we've still got a bit of scout and dodging, and we've still got a little bit of monster surprise, though. So this is okay. Another blockage. This time, we'll use a shovel. Oh no! The undead! Now I'm gonna kick off a torch. Right. I'm gonna bleed on the shield guy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, 
Okay. Where did the wine go? Uh, everything's on the windowsill. Yard slash. Play grenade, really good for the back ranks. Puts a little poison debuff on them. Very nice to see. And we'll get a zealous accusation. Should we? Or should we stunning blow? I'm gonna stunning blow. Nope, I'm not. Sorry, my mistake. That sucked. Uh, bum 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 bum. Let's get an incision. This guy needs to go down. He's a problem. This guy's also a problem. That's gonna push her back. Oh no, it's not. There is a, a ranged crossbow move that will push back and move people out of position too. I think we're gonna go... I never use pistol shot. I really should. That did a, a handsome amount of damage. I'm happy with that. Let's keep our Plague Doctor alive. Tempting. Just 20 stress. There you go. No ifs, no buts. 20 stress. I'm not going to make the mistake that I did before. Step confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. My confidence did indeed surge as the enemy crumbled. Just pile on the stretch. She's losing it. No! Frustration. <laughs> fury. More destructive than a hundred cannons. And that's what happens when you take maximum stress. Um, when your hero takes maximum stress, there is basically a 50 50 roll happening on the background, which is either they will end up afflicted. Um, which has just happened to my precious mayonnaise. Um, or they can be, I forget the name um, of the of the positive one. There are positive traits too. So at the moment of crisis, it's 50-50 as to whether or not they're going to become basically a hideous wretch of a creature like mayonnaise has just become, or they're going to be emboldened. I think might even be emboldened. Um, with some internal, like, second wind moments of clarity, and they get a huge, stonking, positive buff. Um. <laughs> let's, let's digest this. So, abusive. Abusive means that periodically throughout the fight, and you saw her do it immediately just then, she's going to start insulting members of the party and basically giving out stress to them, uh, thus making it more likely that someone else is going to get a wee bit stressed. Um, it's just as such... The fiend falls, it's beautiful. The fiend I love blossoms. that as a mechanic. It's just so... Everything is fair but harsh. Like, the odds are stacked against you, but it never feels like that it's unwinnable. The, the, the All of this is about managing what you are prepared to give up on and what you're prepared to sacrifice. And that's why I absolutely love this game. Let's just finish off these guys. Critical heal. That's what we love to see. Can you even reach? No. Let's just get rid of the corpses. Oh, not even get rid of all the corpses. Oh, sure. That'll do it. You have victory. You found Seize trouble. this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I pushed on until the task's end. Here's the bit. <laughs> this is this is the bit this is the bit right here we're done we achieved it we went through 90% of the rooms we're going to keep it going our Vestal is maximum stress and she needs to go 
she needs to go meditate for sure um, to get rid of that stress um, mayonnaise uh, guacamole isn't looking great either she could really do with just some time to sit and think but I want to 100% this dungeon we only have one torch left we need to backtrack through three, two corridors and take on a third before we can get to the other room. But there might be treasure. We are pushing on. Let's go! Now, things can change in the corridors. Do enemies respawn? No. But more enemies might populate in. <laughs> do it, do it, do it! We've got enough food. It's done a little bit of healing. We're going to let this torch burn down before I kick off this one. Yeah, things will change in the corridors. I need to turn off that um, steam thing. It's not a lot of change. It's just like every now and again there might be a new enemy pop or a new trap. I've already been in that. So yeah, you can see even the backpack that was there before. New corridor, let's do it. Oh shit! Yeah, I did not see that trap. I'm so glad you dodged it, Guacamole. That would have been very bad for you and very stressful. Let's go. Baddies! Ooh, that's an interesting little thing right there. Great, you motherfucker. Quick pause to get me down my antidepressants. Mental health is important, kid. It was a graveyard slap! I laugh at that move every time, but it's gonna kill Hot Dog! <laughs> you gotta get rid of these guys, man. <laughs> Impressive, but the second fire grants superior fire power. Now stress him out. This isn't a good time. No one's having fun. Oh god. Heal, heal, heal this poor man. No, guacamole! No, I clicked the corpse! The corpse can't be stunned. Oh, just need to calm down. Just need to calm down. No, graveyard slash! No! No! It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh! <laughs> Are you wary? Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying oh. fall. <laughs> That's why I love this game. <laughs> and you can loot the holy fountain. You're healed! That's one time use, yep. I might as well go down this corridor, right? What's gonna happen? You motherfucker! If only treasure could staunch the oh. flow of otherworldly corruption. Enjoy the blood, you idiot. Yeah, you stressed, I bet. Alright, let's fucking bounce. We don't need to be here anymore. Bye. <laughs> that was that was good. That was rough, but that was good. Yeah, you see, you, you cash everything in at the end, so if you don't use something, you, you, you pay it back. Look at all those looms! Let's see how our party's doing. Who do we want to look at first? Mayonnaise, you're a motherfucker. You could just wait. Uh, 
Burn did me a good turn at the end. Burn with that final critical hit. Um, <laughs> what a scam. Burn. Healer's gift. Ooh. 20% healing skills while at camping. Great. He's a highwayman. So he doesn't have any healing skills, I don't think. But it might be that he also gets a 20% bonus when he's healed. Good to know. I'll probably forget. Let's have a look at Hot Dog. Uh. No. Fear of enclosed spaces. So that's half the dungeons. My bay guacamole. She came out of this and she's like, ruins are great. I'm now really afraid of the wild, of the warrens. Um, but, ooh, let's do CT, CRT. CRT is... The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. The circus has come to town. I forgot about that. Yeah, if you if you leave negative quirks, which are things like the um, the claustrophobia, they become <laughs> severe negative quirks, and so they'll cost more. So we came out of that rich as fuck. I don't know what the Butcher's Circus is. Enter the ring. It sounds like combat. Leave 10 stress. I'm going to leave that for now. There'll be more Butcher's Circuses, I'm sure. In fact, yeah, it looks like it's just going to be over there. That's interesting. We'll, we'll explore that. <laughs> You don't want you is that no you don't want me to go to the butcher's circus or no I should absolutely go to the butcher's circus Do it All right let's find out what it is A traveling bacchanal No a debauched contest of no. survival The butcher's circus is all these things I'm not sending my little level 1 scrubs into the circus So First and foremost, mayonnaise. It was worth a look. I'm glad we had a look. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. So the only way mayonnaise can relieve stress, which she has maxed out, is through meditation. So if I try to move her... <laughs> if I try to move her anywhere other than that, she won't recover. However, I'm worried about. Yeah, that's. I'm worried about this abusive trait. Because she's just going to do damage over time to the rest of the party. So I'm going to. No, I can't go to the sanitarium! Okay, that's fine. Let's look at who we've got. Oh, Grave Robber. These are our new friends. We're going to take them all. I'm going to need three more food names from the from the chat. Uh, Seely could easily turn into celery. Something to consider. It's not the raw decision. strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. I should have done that slower. He says something cool for every class you pick up. Um, so we've got Seely, Burners, and Bohan. Who are the first inductees of what will be the beast? Yes, I know you need rest fight. Let's get you. You're our primary healer. My my two eyes close so that my third eye may open. Lasagna. Lasagna for Seely. Have a good time, Bowman. Enjoy party, Hunter. Lasagna, taco, good choices. Alright. So. 
Oh, you think celery for Sealy? It is. It is right there. Lasagna and taco for your two. Okay, I can go with that. Um. You see, I'm pulling them off the wagon without really looking at what they do at the moment because it's such a limited choice, but I need to stock up a B team. Um, we've got ourselves a man at arms here. They are very much fulfilling the same role as Hot Dog does in being a frontline fighter with a fairly tanky capability. They lack the divinity, um, but they just kind of hold the line, pull a good punch. You can see here, there's, this is the skills that they have unlocked. You can unlock other skills that they have and you can level up those skills too, so they'll be a little bit hardier as time goes on. So there's all of these aspects. You can basically customize them and swap these skills out. They can only ever have four, um, but you can make them basically whatever you need them for, for, to be in the party. Um, so. Interestingly enough, Command there is quite a decent one for him to have if he's going to be replacing Hot Dog as party leader for some missions. Um, also here are the camping skills. We've not done a camping scene yet, but camping is basically a round out of combat where the heroes sit down together by a campfire and you have an opportunity to use their skills. One of my favourite ones of these, and it's basically what I consider the uh camping skill, is the leper. The leper is a completely bandaged up, bemasked fighter. Um, it has they wear bronze masks so you can't see their faces. One of their camping skills is called lift up the mask, which does an incredible amount of stress release for them because they get to just reveal their face for a little bit, but give stress to every other member of the party because they have to look upon the leper's doubtlessly hideous visage. It's, that is exactly what I think great camping skills do. Um, I mean, there's some really, really good one. Pep talk's great. You basically get one of your guys to go, don't worry, pal, you're all right and you're kind of buying up your companions in that regard. Um, but yeah, we'll see more camping skills when we get into longer dungeons. Um, burners. Lasagna. Dragon. That's already a fairly lasagna looking. I'm gonna keep that. That's about as lasagna themed as that's gonna get. Grave robbers. Grave robbers are good secondary fighters. They do perform fairly like the um, the the highwayman. Uh, they do a lot of dagger throwing and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, they're they're an interesting type. And if you remember, we did get an item for the grave robber, so we'll get her equipped before too long. Um, I didn't save the name again. How many times must I type lasagna? And Jesters. Doubtlessly Doc Triumph's favourite class. Uh, the Jester is... They're very bardic in that very traditional Dungeons and Dragons way. In that they do a lot of bolstering up your teammates. Um, you can see here they've actually got Solo. Uh, it's, it's a... It's a very, very good uh, marking of an enemy um, type thing. They've got they have Battle Ballad too. That's the one I was thinking of, where it just is a great... Um, <laughs> the, the, yeah, the Jester's the one that's going, It was a graveyard slash! Every time a skeleton skewers one of my precious children. Uh, Taco the Jester. I like Taco. Think that's going to be as taco as we get. Oh, and celery didn't change. We need to go back to celery. Let's see if we've got a, a, a greener man at arms. 
So, <laughs> this is gonna suck. We've got our, uh, so we've got three new companions here. Mayonnaise has to go have a lie down and think about what she's done. And if I'm being kind, Guacamole, who can't go to brothels, um, should also get some stress relief too. So why don't we send Black Fresh Mo kegs, to the tavern? cards, and curtain grooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Now, she can't go here. I'm not allowed there. It's just a misunderstanding, I assure you. <laughs> so we can either take her gambling, which costs a little bit more because she's gambling money, um, or we can take her to the bar. I think... Um, Let's go get a drunk. I'm parched, sir. Something, there's a, there's a chance, and I was absolutely distraught when this first happened to me. <laughs> Smashing those avocados, nice. I was distraught when this happened to me the first time. When, I think it happens with gambling too, um, but it certainly happens at the bar where you can go on to your next adventure, and when you come back, they're no longer there. And they've left town, and you get a little notification saying that they, they got really drunk and stumbled out of town. And sometimes, after a little while, they'll come back. And sometimes they won't. So, our precious primary and secondary healers, I can't stress that enough, guacamole and mayonnaise, are now getting treatment. Maybe it wasn't wise for me to send guacamole to the bar, but I think she's like three rooms away. I know, hot dog, don't be a baby, actually. I was about to try and coddle you, but look at the amount of stress track you've got compared to guacamole down here. She needs a drink. So yeah, that's it. Our primary and secondary healers are now in town getting treated for their stress. Let's go on another dungeon crawl. Hot dog sucks. I want him to live until the end so I can get the Chivo, but hot dog does suck. Stitch hot dog. Yeah, can do. Uh, we can take out celery. We'll take out our boy uh, bun. Celery bun, you know. What's the positions on a jester? Ah, interesting. I I'm gonna have to put Taco in a less preferred position um, and let Lasagna take up the middle because Lasagna is gonna have a bit more use of, uh, versatility in the middle position. And so yeah, let's power on through the ruins. Um, skirmish, explore, cleanse. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing this. It, it's just this skirmish. Unholy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. Explore. Unholy machinations have crushed together the hallway and vault. Explore your ancestral home for as far as you are able. I have chosen you for an excellent tradition. Calm down. Cleanse. They can be killed. They can be beaten. So good. I'm gonna scooch this uh, window size up too because there's a lot of border. Uh, I was being very cautious from the weird thing that happened earlier. There we go. Let's enjoy the full screen experience. Yeah, I think. Um, let's have a look. Short apprentice level one. Oh, oh, oh! Back to town, back to town, back to town. Hey, lasagna. I have something for you. Here you go. Here, here you go. Here you go. Oh yeah, bleed stone was a reward too. You can make people bleed, can't you? Yeah, you love making people bleed. 
Have a blue star. There you go. If they die with those items on them, those items are gone. Uh, short, medium. I'm going to stick with short. Because with a medium, when it's 90% of rooms, I'll just get overexcited and try and explore more and forget I don't have a healer and it'll be very, very bad. So I'm going to stick with short for now. I'm going to go to this skirmish in the ruins. Let's provision up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mac, that's my favorite number of torches. Uh, let's take an answer that room. <laughs> That's the maximum amount of bandages I can take. Uh, I'll take actually best. Yeah. I never use holy water. I am going to take some laudanum for once. We're just going to top row. You can see there's a maximum six bandages there. Um, that's going to suck. But this, the win condition is for this. It's a short one. The room battles. If we just defeat all the room battles, then we're fine. And the great thing is, if there isn't a battle in like later rooms and they're just treasures or empty, it only counts the rooms that have battles in them. So it won't tick us over if Say, for instance, we've got two rooms left and none of them have battles. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Welcome, the B team plus token A team member. Boom! That's great. That's solid. Look at that. Room battle with a curio there. We don't need to bother with down there. That's a really good opening, so we can completely ignore that side. There's like three curios down here, which might be good, might be bad. Um, a battle. Again, it's room battles that count for this one, but, you know, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's a really good opening, so... Okay, we're going to let Burn have a look at this um, Iron Maiden. Oh, foul vapors! Whoa, no, no! You poisoned? What happened? The Red Plague. Totally fine. Who wants to have a look? <laughs> Who wants to have a look in the confession booth? Yeah! The confession booth removed the sin. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> look at Bun! Bun's the most amazing guy in the world. Nature's gift, quick reflexes, no negatives. I imagine that's going to stay the whole time. Go Bun! Who wants to read some forbidden books? <gasps> Positive! Interesting. I just randomly chose the the jester for that. A chance to turn any miss into a hit. That's really good. What a great corridor this is. Oh yeah, it ends in the battle. Ah, you're surprised, you motherfuckers. Um, let's get everyone rough. So good. Uh, it's a splash of guys. This guy's a, this guy is horrible here, the madman. We're not gonna we're not gonna enjoy finding him. Let's get some debuffs on these guys. Let's see. Guard an ally. No, for now. Time we're going to buff ourselves, we're going to debuff all minutes. of them, we're going to give us the biggest fighting chance. Some stress 
right there. Doomsay! You've got to get rid of the madman. Exposed oh, no. to a killing blow. Oh, no. Yeah, when the enemy gets a critical hit on you, it gives everyone stress. Holy shit! Holy shit! Calm down. <laughs> Hold on. Everyone just chill. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That was brutal. Holy shit. That's a really interesting one. You see that? Um, the Jester basically has a move where it can debuff everyone, but he moves to the front. But that's absolutely fine, because I also have this. A devastating blow. To move me forwards and move the madman back. Hopefully, that might put the madman in a position where that sucks. That sucks really bad. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Uh oh. Okay, once again, a lot has just happened, and so let's just unpack it. I was in the middle of explaining that certain characters have moves that will change their position in order to, un to unleash the attack. I moved the Jester forward because I thought, that's fine, I know that the Man at Arms can move him back one. The Jester now has no hit points. They're going to start for stat penalties. Any further damage has a chance to kill them. Uh, Death Door is a really, really bad place to be. They can just keel over and die. So we are going to... No one's bleeding. I, it, it sucks how long I have to wait until I can do any... No, wait, hold on. Bandages? Nope. Nope, we're just gonna have to wait until we're out of battle and then use some food. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I need to get rid of the crossbowman. Thank you for targeting Burn. You can do nothing where you are, can you? Focus on the crossbowman. You're, you're suffering. We can move him back. Is that going to cause a bleed? No, that moves him forward. He could spend his turn to move backwards. That will be fine. Um, we're going to go defender on the jester. Sucks so hard. Oh, maybe I should have brought more food. There's just nothing you can do to this situation apart from throwing knives at corpses. Okay. As the fiend okay. falls, okay. Okay. a faint hope blossoms. Faint hope. Slash. Take that, corpse. Press this okay. advantage. Okay. Give them no quarter. Have four food. Oh my god, that wasn't even the room battle! <laughs> I should have got more food. I should have got more food. I was so stupid. I just been talking about bandages just stop bleeding and I packed all the bandages. I only packed four food. <sighs> okay. 
that sucked and it wasn't the room flight. We've got to do all the room flights. Yeah, let's... We're going to press on. We're going to do this room battle. Oh, no. Inspiration and improvement. Oh, Such a no. terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. <laughs> There's something so sad about the grave robber saying if I fail, no puppy in the ground. Oh, no. Okay. Absolutely need my protection. You see, this is this is the economy How of the game. quickly the tide turns. I said before, I need to put my healers in to remove stress. Otherwise, guacamole is just going to break, and this is the consequence. Nothing's easy. Why did I do that? Why did I mark him? That sucked. Why did I do that? Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Them all. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Confidence oh, okay. surges this is good. as this is the good. enemy this is crumbles. I forgot he he has a little bit of health now, so it's not too bad that he's marked. Pistol shot. Okay. Woo! <laughs> you think I'm done with you? Hardly. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Have a little snack. Have one HP. Okay. Burn. You are the hailest and the hardiest of us. Open that. Oh, he's trapped. Oh, he's bleeding. Brilliant. We've got another battle before we get to that corridor. We've got empty rooms and traps ahead of us. Okay. A little longer, a little further. Yeah, you guys, you can have all the light in the world. There's no celery, there's no treasure ahead. We've been here before. Okay. Small battle here. Might not be it'll just be two guys like that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. Simply that's simply frantic, frantic. Ah. It's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's Injury okay. and despondence set the stage for heroism. See that? Or cowardice. Three damage, that's okay, I healed him for four. That one hit point made all the difference there. Okay, uh, I'm maybe not using this man at arms to the best that I could. Yeah, let's, let's rally everyone. We need those buffs to get through this. Eldrick's pull is fine. We're gonna move the bottom out the the higher man out position. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. Stress uh oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Okay. Celery is now selfish. Selfish celery, we call it. Slowly. Gently. This that is wasn't how a life great to happen, taken. but it, it could have been worse. I'm just gonna keep stabbing because celery can move forward with his move. Might not even be needed. 
nothing you can do, no one's bleeding. Throw a knife at a corpse. Brilliant. I will, I will decide who attacks who. Okay, celery, take it easy. He's just randomly doling out some stress. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Fun is so good. Okay, everyone have a little nibble on some of our meager reserves of food. Oops. As life ebbs, terrible Oops. vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I just wanted to see what the blood did. Hey, hey, Taco. Hey, Taco. <laughs> yeah, the blood comes from the Clim Crimson Court DLC. Uh, I don't know what it did. And I, for some reason, right clicked it then. I didn't think it was a consumable. Apparently it was a consumable, and um, Taco has just covered himself in blood. That's just something that's happened. It's fine. Everyone's doing great. We're on our way to this room here. Okay. Okay. So, Burn, why not have a look in the decorative urn? Sentimental fortunes waiting to be spent. And you can have a look in the some gold celery stressing everyone out that's fine this isn't a battle we're okay if we get to the point where we are hungry we are we have no food everyone will get a debuff and that's when we're gonna just abandon this dungeon oh oh my god There's only two room battles here. Oh gosh. Okay, that's fine. Trap. I see the trap. You disarm the trap. Everyone feels good that you disarm the trap. And we can have as much light as you want, guys. We're not the doing a, is a no torch run. A blazing star is Ellen's born. Great. Wealth. Everyone's doing. Oh shit, 20% stress damage. What's that gonna do for those two? Yep. To fall for such a little thing. A bite of bread. Oh. Oh. Powerful. Anger is power. Unleash it. Virtuous. Sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming virtuous. This elevated state of performance will last until they suffer a large amount of stress or return to town. It confers stat bonuses or other benefits. But they are both on death's door. If you are on death's door and it hit maximum stress, you might suffer a heart attack and die. We have got so much further to go. I need to turn off those Steam notifications for sure. One second. Uh... One second. Friends and chat. New friends list. There we go. Just turning off the notification. There we go. There'll be no more of those pop ups. Am I mad enough to keep going? I might run the fuck away, 
This isn't great. No one's come out of this good. I might need to just go. Let me just get into this room and think about my life. Obstacle, battle. Uh, if you bail, well, like let's 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 go. This is no. Let's abandon the quest. You get stress if you leave, but that's fine. Do not ruminate on this fleeting failure. The campaign is long, and victory will come. We were underprepared. We knew it. Both of our healers were in town getting treated or wasted. I stole out the stress. Celery has become fragile. Yeah, you still get the loot. Anything you stuff in your bag, you get to walk away with. Uh, if everyone dies, you don't get the loot. Lasagna has become anemic, but has the fated buff too, which is nice. Um, an intense craving for alcohol. Nice, Taco. Hey, I might remove that from you way sooner than is perhaps realistic. Though long years may seek to separate them, action and consequence will invariably have their dreadful reunion. Okay. A cloud of mosquitoes and other pests is descending upon the, the, madness, the, the hamlet. That's not what caught my attention when I first came to the hamlet. I don't know if you've seen this. Look at guacamole and look at all the stress that guacamole has, has lost. Mayonnaise has gone on a personal vision quest to achieve enlightenment. She's no longer abusive. She's recovered 32 stress. But she's gone on a... Personal vision quest. I've not had that happen to me before. Celery, you're not ready. It's cute that you think so. All of your motherfuckers need Jesus. I need a second healer type. Mayonnaise is done for. Um, she might come back. Ah... Don't need a second high woman, I'll tell you that much. I've not played with a hound master before, but I'm more interested in getting the A team back out there. Fortifying vapors, heal one one. Invigorating vapors, buff the targets. <sighs> An antiquarian. Antiquarian, rather. You are coming right on the team. She searches where others will not go, and sees what others will not see. So, we've got a few little pieces of management we need to do. Uh, first of all, Celery needs some stress relief like woe. Ah, yeah, here's the other thing. The Caretaker. The caretaker is the narrator, the person that we have been... I'll, I'll show you the negative quirks again in a second. The caretaker is our narrator. The caretaker wanders about town. And so you'll find him occupying a slot. Um, so every now and again, one of the various stress-relieving avenues you have is unavailable because the caretaker is in there. Right now, the caretaker is in the, in the brothel. Such pretty things, my pets, my pets. That's fine. We're going to send... Yeah. Meditation, flagellation. I'm going to send Salary to be flagel flag flagellated. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that do. Taco also needs some stress relief. And why don't we just send him to meditate? 
they they are off getting their their stress relieved that's fine i'm gonna need a food name from chat for our new um antiquarian let's have a look at our negative tra traits uh plus 20 stress against a human um hot pot salsa both are good cabbage that's three that's going to be a d6 roll yeah she just does not like people she has i mean who does right she has additional stress when fighting a human she has double additional stress when fighting a human and is has is more vulnerable to humans the dice have gone for salsa salsa is a pretty suitable name for that color i'm going to stick with that i one day nobody's died we've come real close but nobody's died <sighs> one day mayonnaise will return to me this is the thing in my previous playthrough mayonnaise was my absolute bay i adored her she kept she was just virtuous at every turn but taco you're getting respite Actually, I'm taking out my new antiquarian. How are you doing stress-wise, Lasagna? I'm gonna play it smart. I'm gonna send Lasagna to the pub. She's not coming out with me right now. She might as well go and get some stress relief. And we'll bring out guacamole. Let's see. You see the whales opened up now because we've done a couple in the ruins. Um, glug glug, great work, buddy. I'm proud of you. I think one of you is a whale foe, right? Oh, Warren's foe. Yeah, that's there. So we, we're okay going into the whale, but I want to make some dance on the ruins. So we're gonna go for the. Unholy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how, learn how they fight. I don't have a musketeer, so I don't really need those vengeful boots, but I can sell them. Uh, ooh, tenacity ring. 10% death blow resist. I don't have an arbalist. A nice medium explore, that would be quite good. Let's do a little explore. I've not forgotten that you have the red plague. And by not forgotten, I mean I did forget until right like now. That sucks. That sucks. I know I said before about I'm not going to buy a backup highwayman, but I might. How could I get you to cure disease? I'm not sure how. It might be a sanitarium thing. You know what? You do have a little stress anyway. I've got the slots. You go pray to a higher power. Maybe they'll cure you. We'll go to the stagecoach. We'll pick up the our secondary. Elusive, evasive. Persistent. Righteous traits for a rogue. Have two names. What makes you so special? You're gonna have two names in a second. Um, should I go for one of hot pot or cabbage for our backup highwayman, or should I make it a new name? Give me your ideas. Yeah, I'm happy for a cheeky backseat on the um, the. On the plague, the roll has gone for cabbage. A suitable name for a. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, you posited cabbage, but yeah, I mean, yeah, he he came with two names: sanitarium can cure. Yeah, we don't have the sanitarium yet. He's got two. He came in with two names. Let's give him two names again. Let's stick with hot pot. I don't care about the sanitarium man whatsoever. It's okay, but it's good to know when we get the sanitarium, we're gonna get him in there. For sure. Yeah, but we need to do some more quests before we can get the sanitarium. Come on, hot pot. Let's go get this death blow ring. Buns means a lot to me too. Bun is fabulous. Um, I love bun. I want hot dog and bun to make it to the end. I want that chivo. Hot dog is really into bun, yeah. A lot, a lot happens when you're on a stagecoach together. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, he does suck. Boring. He's a disappointing character. All right, medium map. So we've got a lot more provisions. Plus, we've got some firewood. So at some point, we're going to do a campfire scene. We're going to embark. This is an explore, so what we're going to do is go through 90% of the runes. Come on, not burn. For God's sake. Buns have been on the team five minutes and has scurvy. That's Even the cold fun. stone seems bent on preventing passage. <laughs> oh no, the undead! Oh no, we were surprised! You see how surprised we arranged our order? That uh, is a sucky thing that happens. I don't like it. And yet I did nothing to move the highway back into position. Accusation. Oh, Death no, waits salsa. for the slightest lapse in That's concentration. Here's a hit point. That's about as good as we can do. You've got to get back in position, bro. You are doing nothing for a while. This was a graveyard slash. That's more like it. My mic audio has gone a bit quiet. It's because I was sitting badly and slumped to one side. Because I was in full gamer pose. <laughs> I was too excited. Look at this. Look at the amount of healing we can do. We've done five hit points of healing. No one's going to die. We are immortal. Quarrel. Dodge. Hell yeah. You can't shoot him. Three hit points of damage. That's nothing. With our, with our fortifying vapors. He said using emboldening vapors. You two just get out the way. Surges as we're the just, enemy we're going to move you. We're going to just remove you. Delete you from the battle. God, I love this game. I can't believe it's been so long since I played it. Hell yeah, look like I'm only back on full form! 
We're about to kick off that Tempting Goblet guy. This is perfect. Destroy this is much better than the B more. team's first excursion. You haven't hit shit. You're an idiot. Look what you can do. I actually didn't read that probably. I think her one of her abilities is basically hiding behind. Okay, here. Let's just get rid of this. B team couldn't hit water if they fell out of the a fucking death boat. By <laughs> Look at that! Oh, we got we got some five hundred gold antiques. How lucrative! Who wants to play with the holy thing? So who wants to play with the... Go on. There you go, look, healing. This is easy mode. 90% of rooms means I've got to eventually double back down here. But I'm going to power forwards. I'm just going to do this strip first and foremost. Because of that way, we can try and get all of all six of those rooms done with a campfire scene in between. So that should be doable. Go on, not burn. Have a have a play with the sack. Gold a Rooney. Got some lights. Jesus Christ! Ambushed by foul invention. <laughs> Traps always scare the shit out of me. No fight. Scouting. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're definitely going to continue down this corridor. Obstacle shovel. Some you motherfucker, I forgot you did that. What did you take? Also, random mid-hallway scouting, hell yeah. What did you even take that time? Oh, that's what he took, it was a map. One of the items you can get is a map, which gives you a, boot, a immediate scout. And you can't, apparently you can't just steal a map and then not have the map happen. That's useful. That's good. Hot dog, this time, didn't disappoint me too much. Everybody eat some food. Nobody has to stress. Lock display cabinet. I think that's... No, the anqu 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 uh, anqu antique Antiquarian. God. Salsa will probably die if that's trapped. So, let's go. It's trapped. Now you have blight and scurvy. I'm not that. Uh, listen, I'm not gonna lie. If hot pot dies, I didn't realize we had hot pot and hot dog. I should have thought about that. If hot pot dies, I'm not gonna be too sad. We've got a much better marks a uh, high woman at home. Oh, anti venom. Well, that was easy. Waste of a good anti venom. Fuck up, bottom man. Jesus, let's go. Ah, we got a battle down this way. Let's go get. Let's go have a little scrap. Why are you getting upset? Is it just because it's dark? I forgot your favorite. Right? Grubs and spiders. by everyone. A light on the back one there. Back to the pit. Oh hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Grave nibble. Actually that's sick, that's four hit points that and stress. Damn. And stun! Good to know. Remember with these guys you can stun ya. Have a nervous Their formation oh, is kill. broken. Maintain the offensive. Sneaky insects. Okay, go on, hot pot. Have a look. 
It's trash, so oh, no. <laughs> we just sent Hot Pot down the corridor to set off all the traps. Yeah, okay, speaking of traps, there is one here. I know about it. Take it easy, hot dog. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh. I didn't realize you were out of position until I pressed that. That's handy. Go on, hot pot. Disarm the trap. Yeah, you feel real good about yourself. Big man. You absolutely need to go in. Ooh. Yeah, you absolutely need to go in a confessional booth. Ah, oh, the history of the hero sin was too much to bear, and she gained stress. Okay, uh, don't don't get too married to this. I'm I'm antiquarian, antique antiquarian. Either guys, I don't I don't think she's gonna be. She's just stressing out a little. <laughs> I've never met someone who is more immediately going to go into town and and get right to an asylum. Everyone's going to get upset about the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go up here, we'll have a camp, it'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about at this point. Everyone has a little snackaroonie. We get some stashed heirlooms from the box. Let's go into this room and then we can have a little camp, okay? So yeah, time to use some firewood and do a camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. So yeah, camping you get a meal phase and a skill phase. Uh, here we can decide how much people have to eat. There are some really desperate times where you just need to rest and you don't have any food so everyone's gaining stress and losing hit points it's awful. But we can have a full meal because I've still got four food left. Everyone can eat. And then we do a round of um, 12 turns, um, 12 actions. Each one of these has a time cost and we can just run through them. So we get higher abilities like the seller speech which is absolutely about to be used. Um, it will relieve 15 stress from everyone. Um, and things like encourage, which will just do 15 stress relief from one person. Stand tall, uh, minus 15 stress from one, one companion, but also removes any mortality debuffs. So really, really useful if we, say for instance, had death's door knocking around yeah, this is an absolutely necessary mechanic for longer dungeons. Forget not that our errand is holy and just. So now we've got seven points left. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Clean guns will improve uh, not hot pot, not buns uh, abilities. Gallows humor. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, Gallo's humor will definitely remove some of his own stress and has a pretty high chance of no one else being Gallo's humor fr uh, friendly and so giving them more stress. Or healing um, is a great opportunity where we can heal a companion. Um, I don't think I'm blighted anymore. Pep talk, one companion can be relieved of stress. Experimental vipers. Um, can heal 50 HP and do 33 healing. The cure, remove disease uh, and 20% disease resist. And our antiquarian, encourage, one companion gets minus 15 stress, that's nice. Resupply, produces a random supply item, that's curious. Um, I might give that a go. Trinket scrounge, produces a random trinket. That's, I've never actually had a antiqu antiquarian in the party, but that's really nice that they can just add a campfire generate items. I might have a play with that. Um, what is everyone's current maladies? I think you're the only one with a disease right now. You've got scurvy. Um, I think 
definitely need some stress release and some healing. So I'm going to heal the antiquarian. That was a cheat, too. I'm gonna play with that, though. Ooh, new boots. Uh, no torch, that's quite nice. I'm gonna have to go use some stress relief. So we'll have uh, guacamole give uh, salsa some uh, pep talk. Like vaccine, we shall inoculate this land against evil. That's nice. So everyone's looking a bit more hale and hearty. We did have that random item. There we go. That's a move resist item. And given that Hot Pot is currently blighted, and the blight, if I remember correctly, sorry, Scurvy does, we can basically nullify the move resist. So he won't be pulled out of position. Must remember he's got the item because I'm probably going to um, take that from him at some point. Plenty of blood left to shed this day. We are straight back to a royal guard. Hunting here seems futile. All the meat is sure to come. Secrets and wonders oh, can be shit. found in the most oh, tenebrous corners of this place. Oh shit, I forgot about that. You could be ambushed during the night. Oh god, everyone's out of order. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, Guacamole, the best thing you can do is move into position. Oh no, Guacamole! Oh god, we did such a good time! No, move back. You, you two need to fucking move. This is frantic. And it's completely dark and we were sleeping. I need to get the torches lit. It might be too late for Salsa. Can't be done during an ambush. Holy shit. Um Okay, let's Another one falls. Fuck yeah. Please hurry, surely more will come. Completely night fight. You need to move back. You need to get out of there. Guacamole! We're okay, we're okay. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. You can hear that rumbling with the um, completely night fight um, ambience. Actually, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to weather it and just throw the ruin around as much as we can. Oh, we can attack the cops, it's great. Anything we'll do at this time. I, I'm doing my gamer slouch again, I'm sorry. I was too into it. Okay, I don't think there's actually too much that can be done in terms of healing. Anything we heal, they're just going to take away from somewhere else. And I'm very comfortable about the guacamole's coming out of this really bloody... Do we have a stun? We do. Okay, that gives us a round. Still got the body. Okay, okay, good. Let's get trying now because he's been stunned before, he's gonna have a little bit of stun resist now. Uh, so he might not get a second stun on him. Oh he dies. As anyway. the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 
A faint hope indeed blossoms. All right, that was a good rest. That was a good camp. Guacamole and Salsa did not come out of that fight particularly unscathed, but that's okay. I'm gonna make a, if I get affiliate, they set a trap while we were away. Okay, bye. Bye, Mechanical Arthur. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Um, yeah, if I get affiliate, I'll make one of my uh, rewards a pasta check. And you can spend your little beans or whatever it is you'll be getting on my channel to remind me that I need to set up straight. Another trap. They've been lousy in this dungeon while I've been away. Slouchy nerd. Because I've seen like streamers have food checks and hunger checks and like hydration checks. That's not what I need. I just need to make sure I'm sitting like a human being should sit. Okay, we're about to hit another fight. Hopefully it'll just be spitters. We've known about you all along. Soothed. Sedated. Sedated. Ah. I like that salsa and guacamole, which is fitting when you think about it, have developed a little friendship where they're just huddled at the back healing each other. I like that. I think that's nice. Be gone, fiend. And this is the beginning of me getting too attached to Executed characters that will definitely impunity. die. A bite! They're only doing like one hit point of damage each time. It's so cute. A bite! Do a stunning blow. Press disadvantage. Dive. Give them no quarter. Ah, the blood. Ornaments. Neatly ordered. Ooh. Lovingly admired. I'm gonna take the blood. If someone can back see like what the blood does, that'd be super. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. A snippet from a journal of a doomed expedition. Expedition. Right, we can put the stun resist on. I think stun resist for now on Guacamole because if she's out of move, if she can't do something in a turn, that could be a difference between life and death. I might throw away this blood depending on what. Oh, I can use that torch. Actually, that's all right. And then I can take all. From a dungeon random. It's necessary for characters affected by the Crimson Curse. Gives you burst depending on the current stage. Okay, that's interesting. I don't really need it right now. I might end up throwing that. I think that's going to be more important when we hit the courtyard. Oh, no humans! Salsa, you hate humans! Rather than faffing around with the with the heel buddies at the moment, because this guy notice that that Dazed, oof, reeling about to break. Notice that this blood letter takes up two slots because he's got that much health. He's essentially two characters. See, and like even my targeting with Salas accusation there, which targets the first two people, it can only go to him. Um, we are going to spinning strike him because he's not active yet. Perched at the very precipice oh, of shit. oblivion. Guacamole, I didn't realize you were bleeding. Let's take you bandage up. And let's get you healed up. Holy shit. You don't need to die today. 
Uh oh. As life ebbs, I said terrible that. vistas of great. emptiness reveal themselves. Let's get rid of. Oh god. Okay. Get her off death door. That's all that matters right if now. If only to bleed again. Oh my god, they really want to kill my plague doctor. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. All flesh fails in the fullness of time. Death blow for the weak or foolhardy. Guacamole's dead. Everyone gains stress when someone dies. Oh, guacamole. <laughs> you have the option of retreating combat up from combat and abandoning this quest. This we are not retreating from combat. Unforeseen. We are avenging Unforgiving. Injury and despondence what set the stage for heroism Abuses. or cowardice. Oh, I've seen that before. I can't even process Guacamole's death just yet. Don't say that, Salsa. I appreciate your gal pal just Prodigious size alone does not <sighs> dissuade the sharpened blade. <sighs> Have some chat with guacamole. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. That's valuable. I'll give that a full treatment in a second. I don't need that blood. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'll take that valuable. Take. Ooh, choosing between gold or an Ellen. Gold is... Oh, I didn't need to do that. Well, that's not choice made for me. Alright, Guacamole's dead. She was my favourite. I love Plague Doctors. She's gone. Salsa has come out of that abusive. Probably because of the friendship that she and Guacamole struck up. That little boying up that Guacamole gave her at the campfire. And now she's become abusive and the loss of her friend. That's how this goes. Okay. A nightly aura surrounds not hot, uh, not bugs, hot pot. We have one more room which we know is empty and a trap and a curio to bypass. A safer journey as any journey could be in these bleak, bleak dungeons. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Maybe the bookshelf will give the antiquarian a moment to... Oh, Dylan and interesting, that's fine. We can drag ourselves to this final chamber. No skeleton. Oh, skeleton. We know there'll be one more fight ahead of us, but our heroes have not scouted 90% of the rooms. Because there are those down here which we haven't gone to. One way or another, we need to press on or run. We don't have a hero. Any fight without guacamole could be fatal.
we have well a journal page which I'll read out in a second I think we need to disembark and leave a failed fucking flee a failed expeditions journal has been found I now find myself back in the warrens among the remains of my companions my wounds are too severe to allow the completion of our my task thus the desecration must resume another time curious there is a ring in my pocket where it came from I cannot begin to guess though it bears the sigil of the estate's ancestral owner very curious page 11 of 19 and we're, we're abandoning the quest everyone will set the stress great adversity has a beauty it is the fire that tempers we do not get any of the quest rewards funnily enough the big draw for this quest for me was the tenacity ring and the resistance of death blow bitter the, the thought that had that been equipped with guacamole maybe she would have lived on Let us see. Where's Guacamole's dead? Hot dog. Has become a cove adventurer. We've never been to the fucking cove, but he loves it. Hot pot. An Eldritch Slayer. Eldritch Slayer. Uh, plus accuracy and plus critical against the Eldritch. And Salsa. Stress against the unholy, but has become quite the skilled gambler, and so we return to town. A fresh irritant to some, a sanguine memory to me. It is week four. Mayonnaise has returned from her spiritual quest. A low stress has been relieved by from our main guys. The sanitarium is open. Salsa is incredibly shit. Um, we're going to be visiting the stagecoach very, very soon. But first of all, Guacamole, apprentice plague doctor, met their end against the brigand bloodletter. First of all, Ripple and Pipple. The sanitarium is open. And so we can put Bun immediately to have the Red Plague being tended to. That didn't look like it up actually. What's going on there? Oh, there we go. I just like what was being treated. I place my trust in your gnarled, warty hands. And off he goes behind the curtain. Burn. At least we can treat. You motherfucker. We know that Hot Dog has become quite the skilled gambler. But we will have to send him to the bar. For now... Yeah, Salsa needs some serious attention. Oh, you think, yeah, send her to uh, the treatment ward. Yeah. 
We're gonna get rid of the stacking stress is a problem, um, but the accuracy. Well, she's she's not that offensive a fighter. So let's just get the auto mana auto manto auto mat mato auto matonophobia autonomous I still come from autonomous right automaton right Aut autonomophobia okay and she goes all that wealth we accrued and we're yeah you know, so few now I was born for this he says getting treated let's have a look at the stagecoach and let's fingers cross that there's another plague doctor nope nope but there are some cool guys here and I'm bringing them both on board we have a leper this man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same and a hellion Oh, my bags are full. Well, I'm definitely going to expand the bags. And get the hell in. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. So, let's have a look at our leper. I'm going to need two more names in chat. I will accept cornflakes for a leper. that has the pep talk not a healer turnip turnip is strong shreddies oof coleslaw for the leper I'm gonna do a roll between shreddies and coleslaw because both are strong it's coleslaw Mashed potato, porridge, a lot of good options. So, coleslaw, our leper, hard skinned, plus 10 protection, precise striker, 5% critical melee strikes, Dispot, dispot mania, an intense craving for alcohol, a common one, and one that I am going to get removed as soon as possible. Uh, I didn't. His, his name is so close to Brioche too, but we're going coleslaw. I think that's his... That's as white and coleslaw-y as a leper can get. Uh, names for the Hellion? Oh, quickly before I do... Uh, lepers are frontline fighters. They do a lot of damage and they can take a lot of damage. Um, so you see here, they do a lot of like hewing, chopping, a lot of multi person attacks. Um, their second stat has things like Solemnity, which I just saw. There it is, which is a self heal, which I kind of wish this leper had. Uh, I might get him retrained on that, uh, which is which just keeps them powering through. Oh, you're right. It says Saul, not Slaw. Better call Saul. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, roll between chili and spice. Spice has it. Oh, now we're getting types of spices. Roll between... Nanami and Peri Peri. Peri Peri. Uh, Hellions are just outright damage, and to be honest, that not that useful to my current party makeup. Likely to be dropped if I do get. Oh, Pika's a good one too. I might re-roll on N Nanami, Peri Peri, and Paprika just to get fair odds. It wants Peri Peri. The dice chose Peri Peri again. 
actually not terribly useful for my current situation, but I like them. I like having them on board. Make no mistake, we will face ever greater threats. Our That's soldiers must be ready. Oh, name. I'm so bad at it. I don't know why. Perry Perry. Is that as Perry Perry as a. Oh, I like that hot red streak on the face. Yeah, that's my Perry Perry right there. Uh, to show you this. Um, oh, it's a thousand gold. If I wanted to get Solemnity, I could uh, unlock it here. I did it. I didn't actually mean to, but I did. There we go. And so I could swap out um, Revenge for Solemnity, which is nice. It's good to do. Uh, I, I like Solemnity. I don't think we're in such an interesting position. Mayonnaise is still around, so we've got our primary healer back, which ups our chances for survival, but it is half ten. Um, how long have I been streaming? I'm sure it'll say somewhere. I'm sure it'll say somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's been two and a half hours. We've made no progress whatsoever. If I show you the embark screen... 0% progress through the ruins. Um, courtyard's now open if you want to go fight some vampires. Yeah, this is very much why uh, Don was perhaps suggesting we go for a different difficulty, which I don't think we can change uh, whilst we're in here. No. No. That's fine. This is it. This is Darkest Dungeon. Already we have a heartbreaking narrative of Guacamole's death. Already we have a fan favourite in Bun, who is the OTP. We want him to survive until the end, but to do so, we have to make sure that Hot Dog does too, so we can get that hot Chivo. But really we only have three level one characters we are barely pushing through into the ruins right now but all we need is one victory a short skirmish no you know what no no i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it that's i'm gonna leave that for next time i believe in burn burns burns a solid chap all right, I can do one more run. Mayonnaise is quite high on stress, but we need the healing. And so she's going to need to come out with a come hell or high water. I could have used some laudanum in the previous... Oh, I had a ton of laudanum on me and I didn't do anything with it. I'm fine. Quit asking. God. Yes. Oh, I'm... I'm miserable, miserable about my Plague Doctor. I'm going to be delighted when a Plague Doctor comes to town again. We could have take, we could have made it if we'd taken enough drugs. That's the lesson. That's the real lesson. Taco is not going to come out with us in this next one, I don't think. So we could look at relieving Taco's stress a little more. No, we can't. We can't afford it. Nope, there's nothing more to do. In fact, that's so little money that embarking. Let me just very quickly look at what awaits us next time. No, I, I don't think I, I can really get too far. Is there anything I can do to earn money? Selling the items. The blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war.
There we go. I don't even have an abomination. Let's sell that trinket. 3,000 gold. Um, Guacamole did have an item on her, didn't she? Oh, well. Hot Pot, you're not currently... Let's get that sold. There we go. That's looking a bit better. Who else has items? You can keep the Bleedstone burn. Yeah, there's no one else that can do that. Can I sell Hot Dog? I wish. Okay, yeah, I was a bit worried there. That's that's a much healthier sum to be sitting on for our next effort. I can't afford to fix Mayo now. I, she's not getting fixed. I absolutely need to heal her when I next I go out. Um, I'll take some Laudanum with me and we can just douse her with Laudanum while we're going through. But that'll be it. That's the state of play. I might look at doing this in, in more Saturdays to come. We'll see if we can get a little further into the ruins. Make our way to the Necromancer. But this is where we're going to leave it for today. I knew this would not be easy. I hear you, buddy. I really do. That'll do for now. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I don't have a stream start soon screen. Uh, so I'll go to this wonderful <laughs> graphic. But yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been lovely. Another little poke in the direction of affiliate for me, streaming on a different day. Thank you all for, for contributing to my view accounts. It's been very much appreciated. I hope you had a good, entertaining time. Uh, if you have any tips or anything, please do hit me up. You can find me on Twitter at NWKilburn, uh, Facebook if we're friends, uh, or in Skelly Heron's Discord where I'm readily available. Oh, that's an amazing idea. Let's raid Doc Triumph. Uh, with this press of a button, I'm going to make sure that I've spelt his, um, his Twitch right. I have but I'm paranoid. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Oh, he's doing Phasmo with, uh, with our buddy Lancel too. Great idea. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to a raid. We're gonna go pile into Doc Triumph's raid. We see a couple of buds of mine playing Phasmophobia, um, namely Doc Triumph and I believe what's Lentil's streaming name. Lepsy Lentil, is it? Yes, Lepsy Lentil. I love Darkest Dungeon. We are we are gonna do some more of that. I forgot how much I Oh, before I go, I'll tell you the <laughs> before I go, I'll tell you this weird story. Um recently well, well not recently my longest playthrough darkest dungeon was when i had a testicle infection and i was lying in bed and i was on all sorts of medication and painkillers that made me hallucinate and sleep essentially um and what would happen would be my cycle would be i'd wake up i'd take my pain medication which would knock me out and i had a about 20 minute window of consciousness before I fell asleep again and in that time I'd open my laptop I'd do a dungeon in darkest dungeon and then I'd fall asleep yeah it's it's a good story in that it's bad and it involves me having an infection in a very unfortunate place in my body and I was barely conscious and I was hallucinating some wild shit which is its own story but yeah that's I never went back to that playthrough because I got really far and I took out a couple of bosses but I didn't really have any recollection of any of the things that I'd done. So whenever I boot it up, I'd be like, oh, I'm this far into the wild? Okay, I guess we'll carry on. So yeah, with that in mind, why don't we go and raid Doc Triumph and we can all talk about testicle infections. Let's do this! Bye for now, everybody! We're going to raid in five, four, three, two, one. Raid now. Go, 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 go.